he's normally hosting, but today we're hosting him. He's a man that wears many hats, and you've seen him so much through the years that you may just consider him family. Tom Bergeron, welcome to yeah. TV. What's up, buddy? Well, thank you. I feel I, I feel like I should have a hat now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but your hair looks too good to, to hide it with a hat, so don't go far ahead. Thank you. Hat. Thank uh, you very much. Tom, Appreciate you it. are a hit on Twitter. I love following you on Twitter. Fans love it because you do <laughs> give them some tea. Yeah, you do. You give spoilers. Sometimes you give your sarcasm. Um, any tea or spoilers you can share with us today? Ooh. Um... Well, I not not real. I mean, I can't think of any spoilers because I'm not currently hosting anything. Yeah, I mean, I can give stuff, you spoilers about you what, hear stuff, Tom. what we're doing Thanksgiving <laughs> here at the house. Give us a Thanksgiving spoiler. Yeah, give us a Thanksgiving spoiler. Come on. I'm hearing turkey. <laughs> Got it. We're getting a tea. We're getting a yes. tea. Let's stay on spoilers for a second. Oh, yeah. Dancing with the Stars finale is tonight. I'm just curious, Tommy, have you been watching it all? Any bets on who's going to take home the trophy? The mirror ball. The mirror ball, yeah. That's it. I, haven't, I haven't seen the show since, uh, when was the last time I was there? The end of 2019. Wow. Yeah. So Can you give us watching. a spoiler from that season? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's more like a retrospective <laughs> spoiler, I guess. Huh? Yeah, throwback spoiler. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, I hear right. you, Tom. I, I'm picking up what you laying down. So <laughs> you spilled that you'll be hosting the remake of Tic Tac Doe, the, the game show. So how is this one different right. than the other incarnations of the show? Well, uh, one would uh, hope the graphics are a bit more modern. <laughs> um, <laughs> We, yeah, we shot the pilot for that in June, uh, and my one of my partners is Harry Friedman, who was the executive producer of both Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy for many years, so I, I regard him as sort of the Obi-Wan Kenobi of, of this particular genre. Uh, and, and we're hoping to be in production uh, early in 2022. We're still awaiting that 100% green light from... Uh, from NBC, some of the reporting got a little ahead of the curve, but yeah. uh, it's it's looking good. Uh, and and if they don't pick it up, I I can always do it. You know, like for for birthday parties, we can bring a portable <laughs> game I, to I, your I, house. I, I love the way you think it. I mean, y you are one of the most polished people on television. So like, we always see you oh, looking stop. good. A hundred percent, Tom. You know how you do, but you know this business. <laughs> It, things are crazy right before the camera turns on. So, like, is there, like, a crazy moment that you can think of that happened right before the camera started rolling? There was, uh, well, first of all, I have to preface that by saying I love live television, and I love the potential for live chaos. The so best. there was one, uh, one night years ago, uh, it was a show day of Dancing with the Stars, which we shot at CBS Television City, and they had a power outage. And we only had minimal lighting available. And I was thrilled. <laughs> I just thought this is, this is going to be fun to play with uh, on live TV. And I think, uh, I think James Corden was doing the Late Late Show by flashlight, that kind of thing. Uh, and and uh, I was really disappointed when they got the power back up 100% and we, we just did the show as normal. But the producer, uh, executive producer at the time, Rob Wade, came up to me and he could see how excited I was. And he went, you love this. I can't say the <laughs> word he used, but you know. Stop. Yeah. I said, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's thrilling. There's something thrilling about it all. So, Tom, before you go, you're hosting the table read of It's a Wonderful Life, which has an all-star cast and is my mother's favorite movie. Yeah. So do you think Jason Sudeikis will do George Bailey justice? Oh, absolutely. I mean, can you think of somebody like Jason and Tom Hanks are probably latter day Jimmy Stewart's, right? And uh, if you've seen Ted Lasso, you know that Jason has the range to pull off, uh, pull off that character in It's a Wonderful Life. And as you mentioned, it is a star studded event live December 5th. I'll be hosting from this very chair in my in my house. <laughs> nice. And we've got we've got Martin Sheen, Rosario Dawson, Gene Smart, Mark Hamill, Ed Harris. Wow. It's quite a lineup. But do you have yeah. any names for it? <laughs> 
Sorry. Yeah, no, I know. It's so it's so sad we couldn't get any good news. Yeah. Well, it's not only star-studded, but it also has an amazing benefit. It benefits the Ed Asner Family Center. Right. So why is this charity so special to you? Well, Ed was a friend, and uh, what a what a dear, sweet, curmudgeonly soul he was. And uh, and I got to meet his family, and uh, got to see firsthand the amazing work the uh, Ed Asner Family Center does for not only those who are on the spectrum, but the families of those who are on the spectrum too. Because there's a lot of pressure and and uh, responsibility, obviously, that they have to shoulder as well. And uh, Ed's Family Center helps uh, ease that burden for them, too. Beautifully said. Such a big Wow. Deal. Thank you so much, oh, Tom thanks. and DBL Nation out there. you got to be a part of this virtual table read for It's a Wonderful Life. Yes. It is a one-night-only live event taking place on December 5th. You can purchase tickets through the site below. Thank you so much, Tom. Thanks, Happy Tom. holidays. Have I'm a good Thanksgiving. My pleasure. Bye. We'll Take be right care, back. Take care, you too. Happy holidays.